Hello and welcome back to the Rag Pimpalasi Sitar lesson series. I'm Will Marsh. We're here in the key of D and on lesson 24 today, we're taking the full jala and final T high, putting it all together. And I want to show you how to practice it with tabla and get you in the hang of really practicing this as a full piece. So this is set to fast teen tall. Uh, today I've chosen uh, 290 beats per minute as a starting point. You may be need to go a little slower or you may be able to play a little faster. This is just kind of a medium point that I'm starting us at. So join us today if you can here um, and do speed up also if you're ready for it. But you want to have nice, clear, steady practice before speeding it up. So it's no problem if you need to start a little slower. So I have my tabla set. Um, I think it's a good idea to set it on the basic pattern, take us, so that it's not doing as many fillers and ornaments. It's more clear and easier to practice along with. So what we'll do is we'll play this whole piece from beginning to end with the tabla. And I'll go ahead and set that tabla here. So we have and our tempo we'll play right along with it. practicing jala, you really want to lock in with that rhythm uh, tightly and, and be really aligned with that. That's kind of the, the focus of this section is that rhythmic expression. So let's just go ahead and play at this tempo, this speed, the full jala. Um, join me here on the next cycle. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Da, din, din, da, na, din, din, din. Here we go. Great, and then if you get that lined up, you'll end right on beat one there. So that's how we practice it, and we gradually will speed it up. Um, you know, if you can get it up to 340, 350, that's a really nice tempo to really get the jala going, but take your time getting there. Um, it's taken me many years of practice to play up at that speed comfortably, so it's not a rush. Um, and let's do that one more time. And actually, I, I do want to note before we jump back in a couple of things to keep an eye for as you're practicing. Make sure that your thumb stays nice and secure. That's kind of your 
grounding point for Jala. And one note about the middle saw string, you will be hitting that um, kind of inevitably because of the way you're stroking, but try to listen for a way to kind of have the focus be on the main string and have it not be too muddled by the middle saw string. For example, or, see I can really trying to emphasize the clarity of the main string there. And the saw string will ring a bit, but um, you don't want to go over on that so that it's clouding up the main melody. So these are just a couple things to look out for as you're practicing. And let's go ahead and give it another run. Here we go. Here we go. fun practicing this full piece and like I said started at a comfortable tempo might be 250 for you might be 300 and just keep at it um, work on the clarity and the speed so it's been a pleasure um, doing this jala with you in Pimpalasi this concludes lesson 24 and as always um, a reminder to please like and subscribe you'll be notified as classes are released and it's just been awesome serving you in this way. Um, just share a little bit about this instrument I play in these classes. This is my travel electric sitar. I've designed a pickup that has a built-in um, quarter-inch jack, custom preamp, and master volume. It's really um, a great instrument to play when you need to plug in as well, and it's also super convenient to travel with. I can put it in a case that's similar to the size of a guitar and bring it right on board a plane. Um, this is my acoustic sitar, which is very dear to me, and I prefer not to travel with this one. So you can see more about this instrument via my website, willmarshmusic.com shop. And uh, as always, happy practicing. We'll see you on the next class.